The kids these days call it getting the tea, but I'm going to call it we're getting the scoop here on Netflix's newest movie, obviously called Scoop. I'm talking with the stars themselves, Jillian Anderson and Billy Piper. So first of all, Billy, I'll start with you. What is Scoop about? Well, Scoop is about the four women behind getting the uh, infamous Prince Andrew Newsnight interview onto our screens. Um, it's it's their journey sort of uh, ping-ponging between two of our huge sort of British institutions, the Royal pa uh, Buckingham Palace, the BBC, how challenging that was, how tenacious they had to be, um, and how they had to ultimately work together to, to, to clinch the deal, really. Um, they're four very impressive people. Very much so. And Jillian, you are just so transformative in all these roles that you've done. You're hardly recognizable as you were in Margaret Thatcher in The Crown and now here in Scoop. What's it like just immersing yourself in these characters? Uh, uh, daunting. Um, I think any time um, you agree to jump into, at least from my experience, any time I say yes to something, I, I then have a little freak out. Um, and uh, because, you know, do you, you do your best, you jump in, you do all the research, you put all the stuff on, the wigs, the makeup, everything, and at the end of the day, trust that you're making the right choices or that it's working or, you know, so when it does work, which I felt like it did in this instance, it felt like, you know, um, Rufus and, uh, you know, we'd gone away and done our own work and came together to, you know, specifically um, rehearse and rehearse and rehearse uh, in our own time separately this interview. And so um, I feel like the way that the director, Philip Martin, captured it and the story leading up to it and the thriller aspect of the story really um, worked incredibly well. And uh, it, so it's exciting to see something at the end because you just do your part and then you let go of it. You know, if you're not a producer on it, then you have, you, you know, the next time you see it is, is when you're watching a, a premiere or something. So uh, I, I, I think everybody did an extraordinary job. The actors, the director, the editing is incredible. Mm. I think it's, Yes, it, it yeah. all is. And you mentioned Rufus Sewell. I was watching the movie with my husband and he says, we know him, don't we, as Prince Andrew? I said, yes, he doesn't know all the actors' names, but I was like, we've seen him in so many things. Mm. But it all leads up to this intense interview that your character has. What was building that relationship like when your characters are kind of going head to head in this interview? Uh, well, we, we, we didn't really have any contact as actors prior to that. Like, as I said, we you know, very much worked on it in our separate time and space. And, and then um, the day that we were meant to shoot the interview, it was all set up in the room that was um, created to look exactly like that part of Buckingham Palace, that wing of Buckingham Palace. So we were stepping into that room with everybody on the outside um, uh, reacting to what took place in front of these cameras with the two of us sitting, you know, six feet apart. and. Um, you know, I think I think everybody who was there in the room um, reacting was having almost the same reaction that maybe Rufus and I were, because that was the first time that we were doing it. You know, when we sat down to film, it was the first time, and we did it all the way through from beginning to end. And so, uh, it very much felt like it was a a, a one act play almost, and yeah, everybody like was watch it. yeah was reacting in real time to yeah. Absolutely. And Billy, first of all, I love, love, I hate Susie and I hate Susie too. But Thanks. now you're in this drama taking away the comedy bits. Your character is so determined and such a great producer that this is kind of a make or break moment for her. How did you get into, into character for that? Well, I spent time with Sam because we were just talking before. She's Sam is such a force of nature that in just being in her presence is is I, I, it's like an adrenal rush. It's, it's, it's unlike, she is unlike anyone I've ever met. So just by spending time with her and also sort of spending time in the, 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 the rehearsal period, the research period um, with people who had worked in that environment and, or, and speaking with people who had worked in, in, in Newsnight or just within the BBC, it kind of, it creates this natural um, 
anxiety in you when you're playing it. Um, so it it, it it sort of all came together quite easily with the assistance of all of these brilliant um, journalists. Um, and Sam was on set a lot, so I had kind of great access to her, really. Uh, but yeah, it's um, she's driving it all, and and that was very helpful for me. These are both incredibly strong female lead performances in an incredible movie. Thank you both so much. Oh, thank Make you. Make sure you watch Scoop on Netflix April 5th. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. An hour of television can change everything. Three women and a whippet. Wouldn't have seen that in a BBC studio when I started. <laughs> The allegations surrounding Jeffrey Epstein include his friend, Prince Andrew. Sam, let's start pushing the palace. I want it for us. You're chasing a story that we're never going to get. This is the work. My job is booking the people we can't just call up. Hello, everyone. You have a problem that won't go away. We're looking at options. But there is a red line. I've never been smuggled into a palace before. If I do an interview, the question is, why you? With respect, you know how people see you. Spell it out. Brandy, Andy. With respect? Everything's changed. The FBI are raiding Epstein's home. You can't stay silent. Self drawing room, two chairs, six feet apart. It's like a Western. Make no mistake. If we don't get the tone right, the story won't be him. It'll be us. Your Royal Highness. Tomorrow night, in an unprecedented interview, we will hear from the Duke himself. You know, I thought that all went very well. All across the world, every paper, on every news channel, this is the story. Go away! This is only going to get bigger. This interview, does it matter? Yeah, it matters.